Franklin Council members can buy just about anything with your money. But our exclusive expense account investigation found that's not the norm in most cities our size. Investigator Sarah Buddison is here tonight to tell us what she uncovered. And Sarah, you found that there are other city councils whose expense account rules are a lot tougher than Cleveland's. That's right, Danita. We compared Cleveland to other city councils that are the same size as Cleveland, and we found that they have stricter rules when it comes to how they can spend your money. In fact, we found many city councils have no expense accounts at all. From chewing gum to Charmin. It is a weird looking vehicle. Transportation to tickets to fundraisers. <laughs> Cleveland City Council members paid for it with your money. Is that normal? Uh, no. But it is legal, according to Kevin O'Brien. Yeah, we wouldn't get away with that in cities like Minneapolis. He's the head of the Great Lakes Environmental Finance Center at Cleveland State and helped create the new Cuyahoga County government, a government voters approved after a massive corruption scandal. Mr. DeMora, could you make a comment, please? Each city council member receives a $1,200 a month expense account and they can use it to buy just about anything. On your side, investigators analyzed hundreds of pages of expense reports from 2012. It's a five-door hatchback. We found only Ward 11 Councilman Mike Polenzik uses taxpayer money to help pay for his car, a 2010 Honda Accord Cross Tour. The payment, insurance, and gas usually cost taxpayers more than $400 a month. Ward 10 Councilman Eugene Miller likes to do lunch on your dime. He's the only council member who regularly requests reimbursements for midday meals with his staff. Receipts show he enjoys pancakes and Panera. Listen to prime time polkas. That's the sound of prime time polkas, the radio show where Ward 12 Councilman Tony Brancatelli spent 25 bucks of your money for a holiday greeting. He spent another 25 for a greeting on the Czech Voice of Cleveland and more than $350 to put New Year's, Fat Tuesday, and Easter greetings in the neighborhood news. Today, the state of the city is financially stable. Brancatelli also spent $550 on a table for 10 at Mayor Frank Jackson's State of the City address. Those are typically things paid out of pocket. But that's not O'Brien's biggest beef. Yeah. 11 of the 19 council members use the expense accounts to give their executive assistants raises. The positions pay nearly $40,000. If they want to use extra money to pay employees, at perhaps at the expense of the taxpayers, that's not a good idea. Do you think it's fair to have council members arbitrarily increasing their executive assistant salaries? I, I don't see a problem with it in terms of how I'm using it. I, I don't think that anybody would view $100 a month as an abuse. That's how much extra Brian Cummins pays his executive assistant each month. Ward 3 Councilman Joe Simperman gives all of his expense account allowance to his. They're like the lowest paid uh, positions in, in City Hall, bar none. Uh, relative to their type of role that they're doing. Other executive assistants working in the city can't get raises without several people signing off. Things work differently here at City Hall in Columbus. None of the seven council members have expensed a single penny since at least 2008. We compared Cleveland City Council to Columbus and nine other similar sized cities. We found only three of the city councils have expense accounts. And in Cincinnati, Minneapolis, and Pittsburgh, council members have less money and more rules. For example, Minneapolis bans members from buying fundraising tickets or giving to religious groups. We run on kind of a shoestring budget. Six cities have no expense accounts, including Tulsa. Councillor Jeannie Q says she and the eight other councillors don't want or need them. They're not out there to get paid back. Their payback is the improvements of the city of Tulsa. Cleveland council members do do good with the money. Polenzik and Brancatelli give more than most members to charities and other good causes. Eugene Miller runs a runner's club in his ward. For my case, I use it primarily for my office. Cummins spends your money on his ward office's rent and phone. There are legitimate expenses that members of council will have. File number 11413. But O'Brien says as the council makes rules for residents, 
It should review the rules for its expense accounts. If you explained it to the public, would they understand it and would they think it's reasonable? We reached out multiple times to every council member mentioned in the story, but they declined our requests for on-camera interviews. For more details on how Cleveland City Council compares to other cities, go to Newsnet5.com. We've got more information for you there. On your side, I'm Investigator Sarah Buddison, News Channel 5.